live from Market Square. This is the Fiesta Flambeau Night Parade pre-party with SA Live, brought to you by HEB. The Fiesta Gorsties. Fiesta Gorsties, I like it. Fiona Fiesta Gorsties. I'll take it, I'll take it. Fiesta's my middle name. We had Fiesta on the mind for a while. Of course, this is the last evening. And I'm Mike Oster Age. And this is the Fiesta Lambo pre-party. We've had the post-parties a couple of evenings. And this is the pre-party because the parade is going to be getting underway in just about an hour. It is San Antonio's other night parade, the one on the ground, though, as opposed to the River Parade. It is, of course, the largest illuminated night parade in the world. The Fiesta Flambeau Parade Association spends all year organizing, creating decorative floats, selecting the music bands and dancers. And this year's theme is City Lights and Celebrations. More than 700,000 people are expected to watch, both from the parade route. I know the estimates yesterday for the Battle of Flowers were 300,000 people down there. And, of course, you can watch starting at 7.30 on KSAT 12. Right now, people are taking their seats along the parade route, grabbing snacks, drinks, and settling in. And Jen's down there. Yeah. I think she's trying to pick out her favorite seat, too. Oh, yeah. Let's check in with Jen Tobias Dresky out there in the middle of it. Yes, we are here on the parade route. Let me tell you, it's getting really, really packed out here. And I've been dying for a chicken on a stick. Look at this chicken on a stick. I have never seen one this way. So yeah, this is, uh, we're right here on Broadway and 9th. And as you can see, it is filling up out there. And I'm asking people, how are you staying cool? Because it is humid out here, but everybody's just, they have their water, they are ready. It's not stopping people from coming out here um, and enjoying all the good food. As you can see, there's lots to eat, lots to pick from. Uh, my favorite chicken on the stick, but they are cooking up a lot of things here and everybody over here in line, they're dying for metals. So we hand out a lot of those earlier um, and it's just getting really busy out here. So KSAT's obviously gonna be up here. Um, really neat to see behind the scenes up there. And when we check in again, it might go up there and interrupt a little bit, but uh, we're having fun down here. So back to you guys. Jen, of course, is having a great time. Of course, and she's got the food and even with all the humidity, her hair, your hair looks fantastic, Jen. All right, well, you, if you're out along the parade route, we want you to share your photos, whether you're on the parade route, watching from home, send your pictures to us. We want to see where you're watching tonight, and we're going to make you a part of tonight's broadcast. Yes, indeed. Now, if you have not heard, the Grand Marshal for tonight's parade is none other than Jimmy Kimmel's sidekick, the former security guard, Guillermo. Oh, yes, we were able to catch up with him earlier today when he got into town. You know what our first stop was? Oh, we treated him right. We got tacos. Good idea. Well, we're here at a new Taco Land location on the Riverwalk next to the Hyatt, and someone is here, and you're never going to believe who. You've seen him on Jimmy Kimmel, and he is the Grand Marshal of tonight's Fiesta Flambeau Parade. Guillermo joins hey, us. Hey, it's me. yes. And you got to do this. Okay, ready? Crack that over my head. One, one two, two oh, three. Oh, your own head. Oh, oh, okay, wait, one, two, three. One, two, three. Ah, there we go. Sorry, you wait, just wait. got cascaroned. I did. What happened to this one? Hold wait, on. is it broken? <laughs> oh, the other way? You got you to smash it. <laughs> oh, smash. Smash it. There you go. Like yes. What do you, how's your, uh, you've been to San Antonio before, right? Yes. For the NBA Finals? For the NBA Finals, mm -hmm. when uh, San Antonio Spurs, when they won the championship, this is my second time. I'm very happy. Everybody is so friendly in San Antonio. They make you feel like you're at home. They're friendly. They, you know, they have a good food. I, I, what's, your, what's your favorite food here? Wow. What, uh, well, tacos. <laughs> Ta tacos, any, any particular kind? Well, I like asada, al pastor, uh -huh. any kind of tacos, you know, and, you know, I'm, I'm a Mexican, I'm a Latino, I love Mexican food, you know, in San Antonio, they have the best food, best drinks, margaritas and everything, and they have also the best women. Uh, oh, thank you, that's two, that's two from you. So, flour or corn? Corn. Okay, tequila 
or Corona? Uh, tequila. <laughs> I was going to be like, both. <laughs> no, I, I, I like tequila. You like tequila? Yeah. Okay. So who has been your favorite celebrity that you've interviewed or favorite moment? Wow, my favorite moment, I think it was Charlize Theron. Oh, she's, she's beautiful. She's beautiful, she's sweet, she's so nice. It's Scarlett Johansson, Beyonce, 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 oh my God, Beyonce, and uh, Eva Longoria too, Eva Longoria, Salma Hayek, the Latinas, you know, Salma Hayek, Eva Longoria, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, Jennifer Lopez. It's like all the ladies then. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I, 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 you know what? I, I love the ladies, and I always tell everybody, ladies, are, ladies and kids are the best things that God created. You know. Oh, thank you so much. How old were you when you first started growing the stash? Oh, I was 14 years old. <laughs> 14 years yeah. old. And I haven't caught it since that. Never. All right. So, what is your plan for later on today as the Grand Marshal of the Fiesta Flambeau Parade? My plan for later on, uh, just just have fun, you know, be with friends and everything, have a few a few drinks and enjoy San Antonio, you know. You're gonna hear this a lot. The show is your shoes, you know, um, which is part of the Battle of Flowers parade yesterday. Can we see your shoes? Yeah, you can. Or see what my kind shoes. of shoes are, are, are you showing? I, you know what? I don't remember. My wife bought it for me, so <laughs> she told me they're comfortable. So. You know, she told me, I, I went to this place, these shoes are the best for you, they're comfortable because you're overweight and, and you know, you're heavy and everything and, and uh, these are the best shoes. They look really comfortable at least, yeah, right? They, actually, they, actually, they are very comfortable. <laughs> so what's your favorite daytime show in San Antonio at one o'clock? Let me see, let me think about it. I think it's this one right here. Yeah! Thank you very much. Thank you, San Antonio. I'm very happy to be the uh, Grand Marshal and planning to have fun. Thank Say, you. Viva Fiesta! Viva Fiesta! He likes to smoke to the pretty girls, doesn't he? Oh, yes, he does. He, he didn't yes, tell me that does. one. Does. Yeah, sorry. It's, it's always wonderful to see people like that in, in such a casual setting. I mean, he said more there than he does in a month on the Kimmel Show, basically. Oh, yeah, no, and he's so cool in person, really down to earth, really great guy, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Oh, fantastic. It is going to be a great parade, of course. A lot of folks are keeping an eye on the sky. Katie Blake back at the station is watching radar. We just want to show you what's going on right now. As she told you right uh, at the end of the newscast, a couple of thunderstorms are developing up there around Austin, kind of building back down here. She's going to be monitoring it all night, and if you are heading to the parade, get the KSAT weather app as well as the uh, KSAT app, and if there's anything going on you need to know about when you're down there at the parade route, Katie is going to be getting push alerts, everything out there. Adam is on standby, Sarah's on standby, so we got you covered tonight. All right, I did not know this, that before the Flambeau Parade, there's a running race. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, they're in the race to set up all the chairs. However, it's the Fandango Fun Run happening on the parade route, and we're going to introduce you to the family that's been running this race since the 90s. And show us your best grito. We're hosting a grito off right here in Market Square. You're watching the SA Live Flambeau Parade free party from Market Square. Live from Market Square, this is the Fiesta Flambeau Night Parade Pre-Party with SA Live, brought to you by H-E-B. And speaking, wow, whoa, -ho. holy smokes, that's a lot of people. Looks like folks getting ready for the fun run down there. And it is the starting line, of course, and there's going to be about, once those folks run the whole parade route, uh, maybe just a mere 350,000 people that are going to be watching the parade as it weaves its way through downtown, past the Alamo, down Commerce, and then right back up Santa Rosa. Actually, head up in our back door right Oh, yeah, we'll be going right by us. We'll yep. get to wave. Well, welcome back to the SA Live Fiesta Flambeau free party. The floats are getting ready to make their way through San Antonio right now, but before they do, just as you saw, the Fandango Fun Run is going to happen. Yep, hundreds of people are all dressed up in themed costume, costumes to run the route of the parade, and the run is yet another fiesta tradition for a whole lot of people. Hey, it's David Elder with SA Live, and it's Fiesta time here in San Antonio, and that means drinks, food, celebrations, but for the Davini family, that means participating in the Fandango Fun Run, not only as a tradition, but as a religion. In my family, we're probably about 10 of us that run, but with our friends and other family members and people that have married in, um, right now we have a group of about 20 people that are running. 
We are religious about this Fiesta Fandango Fun Run. Um, we've never missed it. My family lives all over Texas, San Angelo, Odessa, Stanton, um, and we all come to together and we all come to town for this one event. And the last couple years I've made costumes, so it's been even that more fun. So it used to be that it was just a costume contest. So anything, anything went. And so we, we got a better partnership with the Fiesta Flambeau people. So we now, the theme of the parade, the theme of the run is always whatever the theme of the Flambeau is. It's 2.6 miles, but it goes by really fast because you just, the energy that the crowd gives you and you're running and it's just the most fun ever. So it's 2.6 miles, but it feels like a mile. It is a tradition, and it's now, as you said, it is a religion. But it's insane that, um, especially with the Tavinis, like 15 to 20 of them come out. They've been coming out since 1994, and I know a few of them have been doing it even before then, and they come out every year. I tell everybody that it's the most fun you'll have running. It's an actual fun run. And when you wear costumes, the crowd loves it, they cheer you on, and it's awesome trying to get everyone out. So we have six-year-olds that run it and people that are in their 80s that run it. All right, you guys, so I got my shirt on. It's the Fiesta Fandango Fun Run happening this weekend. I'm excited. I got my shirt. I'm ready to run. No, you're not. What? All right, now I'm ready to run. Now you're ready. Now you're ready. High five, guys. Here. Oh, oh, we missed. Come <laughs> on, do it again. Come on. Fiona try and spin up some cotton candy. Plus, the mariachi Palomino from Palo Alto College are here, ready to get the party started. Their performance is coming up as SA Live's Lambo Parade pre-party continues. Stick around. After Live from Market Square, this is the Fiesta Flambeau Night Parade pre-party with SA Live, brought to you by HEB. to make in the commercial break. We were all singing along to Journey that the band was playing back there. I thought we were all very good. I thought we sounded fantastic. We did good at Journey, didn't we? <laughs> They're just going to say yes. They're being nice. They're and being only nice. one woman goes, I don't know the words. So. <laughs> Speaking of belting out stuff. You did great. Yes, indeed. Nothing says Fiesta, of course, more than mariachis strumming their guitars and belting out those gritos. Our next performance is from the Juan Ortiz Mariachi Academy at Palo Alto College. This talented group of men and women are led by two time Grammy Award winner and founder of the uh, and founder of the world famous mariachi group Campañas de America Juan B. Ortiz. Now you can learn the basic musical instrument skills at mariachi at the Academy. Registration is only $75 per student. Academy classes are open for students 11 years old and older through adults and for more information on the Juan Ortiz Mariachi Academy you can visit SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Ladies and gentlemen, take it away.
on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, coming up next, we got corn dogs, cotton candy, and the mega 135-foot Don't remind me. Yes, we took the plunge for you at Fiesta Carnival for even more Fiesta fun straight ahead. And earlier we asked you to share where you're getting ready and enjoy the Fiesta events from the comfort of home in air conditioning, waiting for the Flambeau Parade and watching Guillermo give Fiona a little kiss on the cheek there. Not one, two, two kisses. <laughs> It's time to buy HEB. And everybody, of course, is just having a great time down here at Market Square. You know, it, it's all like the, all the ingredients that go into a, a perfect <laughs> recipe. You've got Market Square, you've got the various parades, and of course, wouldn't be Fiesta without the carnival. Oh, yeah, it's fun for the whole family, and it lasts through this weekend, so there's still time to check it out. But of course, we couldn't send you there without checking it out for ourselves first. Yeah, take a look. Well, Fiesta Carnival is underway, and we are right here by the Alamo Dome. Everything. The games, the food, everything, and of course. Smell the corn dogs now. As <laughs> Fred joins us, and there's a lot going on here, right? Absolutely, all the time. This is Fiesta Carnival. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. There are some rides, there's food, all sorts of fun for folks to have. So we're, we're going to try a couple of these rides, right? Which Absolutely. ones? Which ones have you lined up for us? I've lined up the Mega Drop, 135 foot drop tower, but don't worry, there's magnets at the bottom that are going to stop. We're relying on magnets? You're going first. You're going with me. <laughs> Come here. Are you ready? No! They are. No! Oh, be strong. Oh, we're going up. How high is this again? How many stories? Two. Holy smokes. How many stories? 130 feet. So I think that's what? What is that? Oh, my goodness. You know, this always really gives me the willies because I don't like it looks, heights. It looks so I know. Hot. It doesn't look this high it? from down there. I know. Like they say on a clear, I didn't know there was so much parking out there. Oh my god! Oh my goodness! Oh my god! I, you know, I really don't like these things too well. Oh god! Jeez. Oh. 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 Candy, please, miss. The cotton candy and a particular flavor, sir. Uh, how about a little of each, miss? A little of each. All right, we got one of everything coming up. There you go, one of everything, sir. Enjoy. How's it taste, sir? Hurry up. Oh, my God. Ready? Try not to screw up. Okay. One second. Is it actually possible to do this? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We are the champions. Oh my gosh, is that an M for Magical Mike? I'll save you. Iron Man here. I think we can make it on this one. I think so. I oh, think we're wait, really... wait, wait, wait. Are you tall enough? I don't. Just to make yeah, sure. Just because I don't have my heels on. <laughs> all right, so you two can come out here by the Alamo Dome to Fiesta yep. Carnival and ride all the rides, have some fun with the food, okay? And everything. All speeds, all scary levels for everybody. Uh huh. And, and all the sorts candy. of great, great food. Your tongue is blue. Is it? Let's see. Stick it out. Is it? Look at the camera. Stick out the tongue. No. <laughs> It runs through Sunday. For more information, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Mm -hmm. 
Dude. I was really a catcher in Little League, so that's why I did that. So. <laughs> anyway, the Fiesta Carnival is happening through tomorrow, Alamo Dome, parking lot C. For more information, visit SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Coming up, it is the whole reason for tonight's party, other than the food and the whole beverages. The Fiesta Flambeau Parade, we're going to hear from the folks that put the whole thing together and what's in store. And you've seen him on Jimmy Kimmel, Guillermo serving his grand marshal of Gillette tonight's parade. You'll hear more from him right after the break. Live from Market Square, this is the Fiesta Flambeau Night Parade pre-party with SA Live, brought to you by H-E-B. So here we are 69 years later. We have torches, we have over 100 entries. It's the largest illuminated parade in the United States right now. So we are very blessed and excited for San Antonio. If you're a first timer, you cannot do Fiesta without coming to the Night Parade. Viva Fiesta! The Fiesta Flambeau Parade Association works hard all year round to make the Flambeau Parade the best it can be. As you said, this is the largest illuminated night parade in the world, and it's starting in just about a half hour from now. Yeah, and if, like she said, if you do Fiesta, you got to see it just one time. It is so cool seeing everything all lit up like that. Even if you go to Battle Flowers the day oh, yeah. before, it's, too it's a totally different experience. experience. Yeah. And it is wonderful out there. You know, the interesting note is all those chairs that were lined up yesterday yeah. had to all be picked up and then all put back down today. Oh, my goodness. A lot of people do a lot of work. And, of course, the theme this year is city lights and celebrations. And about 700,000 people are expected to watch not only downtown here, but also on KSAT 12. And the parade starts in just about 25 minutes. minutes. And the Grand Marshal is now your new best friend, huh? Yes, Guillermo course from Jimmy Kimmel, his security guard turned sidekick, and we caught up with him a little earlier today. Here's more from that. Do this. Okay, ready? Crack that over my head. One, one two, two three. Three. Oh, your own head. Oh, oh, okay, wait, one, two, three. One, two, three. Ah, there we go. Sorry, you wait, just wait. got cascaroned. I did. What happened to this one? Hold wait, on. is it broken? <laughs> oh, the other way? You gotta, you gotta break it. Yeah. Oh, smash it. Smash it. There you go. <laughs> so what's your favorite daytime show in San Antonio at 1 o'clock? Let me see. Let me see. Nobody. I think it's this one right here. Yes! Thank you very much. Thank you, San Antonio. I'm very happy to be the uh, Grand Marshal and planning to have fun. Thank Say, you. Viva Fiesta! Viva Fiesta! You know, we made sure we hooked him up with an SA Live and a KSAT medal. Oh, of course. Did you tell him to break and not smash? You know, yeah, he smashed it. I didn't even know until I was watching it that it was stuck on my head. <laughs> I saw that earlier when you were getting ready to do your hair and makeup. So, hey, uh, quick check on the weather. Uh, of course, Katie Blake is back at the station keeping tabs on everything. And those storms are building up there to the north. And she uh, just noticed that there is a severe thunderstorm watch. It does not include Bear County, but it is up I-35 up in toward Austin. It does include. New Braunfels and then places east of I-35 over there toward Seguin, Gonzales, and some of those storms are going to continue to build. Of course, get the KSAT weather app. She's going to be updating that all throughout the parade in case there's something that you need to know. And if necessary, she will cut in. Adam's on standby and Sarah are on standby as well. All right, well, we're heading back to the parade route in just a few minutes. You're watching the SA Live Flambeau Parade free party live from Market Square right yeah. here. Live from Market Square, this is the Fiesta Flambeau Night Parade pre-party with SA Live, brought to you by H-E-B. Well, it is a warm, yeah. warm night out here in Market Square, but a beautiful night for the Fiesta Flambeau Parade. Oh, yeah, people are partying here in Market Square. <laughs> <laughs> He's working a camera, I love that. <laughs> yeah, it is gorgeous out here. She is Fiona or Fiesta Gorstiza. Yeah, Fiesta's my middle name. Why did I wait till now to make I, I should have said that right? last week. So. <laughs> anyway, not my ghost or age. And we are obviously having a great time here, as is everybody else this evening. Get ready for the Flambeau Parade. Oh, yes. We are those, of course, on SA Live, KSAT 12's afternoon variety show. And Fiesta de los Reyes is happening. Tons of people. We're going to send it over to Jen Tobias Strusky to see how things are going along the parade route. 
Hey guys, it sounds like you're having a great time over there. Yeah, as you can see, it is it's full. It is all filled up over there and it takes a lot to cover these parades. This is a mobile control room right here next to me. And of course, me being the nosy person that I am, I thought let's give you guys a sneak peek inside the mobile control room. So this is where the action happens. As you can see, I'm gonna try to stay quiet, <laughs> but they are working hard in here. Um, just a whole team in here trying to get all of this covered and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close the door because I don't want them to yell at me. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's so fun just to see the behind the scenes and who, look who we have here, David Sears. Hi, David, what's going, what's going on? on? How you doing? Just getting ready for the parade. Okay. Adam Kasky and myself will be on the street talking to the people, talking to members of the floats and see who's on the floats and we're just kind of out here testing our equipment. We got a mic ready to go. Got the pole mics so, mic. <laughs> so we can well we can reach the people up on the floats to talk to them. Great idea. We got our list of all the floats okay. right there. We got our we got our we got our cascaronis. So we oh, you got your sure. cascaronis too. So let's try one out. Okay. Make sure okay. They work. okay. Oh gosh. Oh, those work. Okay. okay yes. Good. Okay. Oh, now we're ready. <laughs> awesome. Yes, lots of fun. Um, I, when I'm going to be gone, they're going to still be here. So we're going to walk. Oh, thank you, David. So we're going to keep walking here. Um, like I said, it's filling up. We have our, our setup up here. Uh, see our SA Live representing up there. And um, I, I, after this, I'm really just going to eat. But it's getting ready to start. You know, my favorite part about this parade is, because I have so many childhood memories, is all the lights. All the lights lighting up. And I just love it. So everybody's having fun. Hey, guys. So, yeah, say hi! Woo! You're alive! <laughs> yeah, so see if I had medals, I'd get mugged right now probably. But uh, it's a great time. We're having a blast. Oh, see, I'm sneaking medals to them. So we're going to go hand out medals. I'm going to eat my corn on a cup. Check that out. Ooh, and uh, we're so going to have a good time. Back she's to you, Market Square. She's got food, and it's a good thing she's got a fence. So she's got medals, she's I got know. that fence to keep her away from the mob once they see those mad And of course, nobody could have more fun down there than Jen and all those childhood memories. Thank you so much, yeah. Jen. And of course, we got two of the biggest kids in TV, Sears and Caskey, mm -hmm. that are going to be on the street down there. Yes, and the yeah. parade, of course, is going to get underway in what now? Just about 15 uh, just about minutes? 15 minutes, yep. And of course, we plan to air the whole thing right here on KSAT 12, so you can enjoy the broadcast right there from home. Indeed. All right, coming up next, get ready. It's an SA Live Rico competition. David Elder, who else, has scoured Market Square to find the best Rico. We need you to help us decide who's the winner. Stay tuned. Live from Market Square in downtown San Antonio, this is SA Live. You know, it's been a while since he got a new hat. I think we need to put a 17 on that one. Of course, they made it into round two. Going to be playing the Rockets. Oh, right. The claw versus the beard. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Anyway, welcome back to SA Live. It is the Flambeau Parade Free Party. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorostiza. We're trusted tonight. Or they, they, they trusted us tonight. I know. With this hour long uh, in prime time. Prime time. This is prime time. It's after 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Normally you'll find us on at 1 o'clock on KSAT 12. Exactly. And Monday, everything's pretty much back to normal, relative term. We're going to be back on here at 1 o'clock. It's David Elder with SA Live. Yeah, it's a Big Daddy's Eats and Treats. And just in case you haven't had your Philip Fiesta food, this place is a local favorite. They're creating sweet treats that are all about the... Chamoy! And it's said. the perfect way to have the Fiesta Fun live on. These creations are made from recycled, embroidered pieces. The ones you've been seeing all over for, all over Fiesta will introduce you to the artist behind Bird and Pear. And of course, we have a whole lot more coming up, and that is at 1 o'clock Monday, right here on KSAT 12. But of course, don't touch that dial, because mm -hmm. in about 10 minutes, the parade's going to be started. Oh, yeah, so we're going to get the excitement up yep. right before that. You've heard it happening all week long, the Grito. I don't know. Yeah. It's not a Grito chant, it's a Ghost First Go chant. Ghost First Go, that but works too. Elder went looking for the best Grito yeah. in Market Square. See how he did. It's David Elder with SA Live. We're out here at La Margarita for Fiesta. And with us today for the El Grito Challenge is Juan, Maribel, Anthony. And we're getting psyched out here because you know what? These guys out here, they're the best of the best. And we're going to have a competition to see who can do it better. So the first one to start us off is Juan. You ready, Juan? Okay. All right, whenever you're ready, go for it. Here, I'm going to hold it for you. Give it up for Juan. That was good. Give it up for Juan. 
Ron, that was that was pretty good, man. Now we're gonna come over here. Now, Maribel, you're gonna do this for us, right? You can do this, all right? All right. All right. Here we go. But not least is Anthony. Now, Anthony, you just came up to this right now, so you, you're kind of like the last one in right now. You're ready to do this, though, right? I like your hat says dangerous. Let's show them what you got, man. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's hear some feedback. What's going on, y'all? Think. All right, y'all. Okay. Now here comes the moment that we all been waiting for. Who's the winner of the Grito Challenge? We're gonna go with Juan. You want to hear it again? Okay, we're gonna do it one more time. Here we go, one. Give me this one more time. Here we go, go for it. That was pretty good, right? That's pretty good. Okay, all right, here we go. Contestants here. We're gonna go one by one, y'all. Y'all gonna tell me who's the winner, okay? We're gonna go one. One, give me some one, one. Okay. Mary Bell. All right, all right. And last but not least, Anthony. Give him some love. Give him some love. Well, before we announce the winner, give all of them a round of applause for participating. Juan, stand over here for me. The winner of the 2017 Fiesta SA Live Grito Challenge, Mary Bell's walking away with this. And we're gonna get this over here. There you go. Give her a round of applause. There you go, Mary Bell. Thank you so much for participating in this. And you know what? It's not Fiesta until you hear the Grito. So thank you so much for participating in this. Juan, Mary Bell, Anthony, you guys have made this real fun. And thanks for watching, y'all. We're gonna kick it back over here to Mike and Fiona. That was great. <laughs> Fantastic. Next one, and it is Stephanie, SA Live KC. We're watching. And we're at Tom Cabana Viva Fiesta. Oh, yes, we are popular in the break rooms. Uh, yes. <laughs> Crystal says, homebound with my sick little man, but still enjoying the parade. Oh, we're glad we can bring it to you here better. on KSAT 12. All the way from Colorado. Fantastic. Hey, by the way, that front's moving on through here. Yeah. It is windy, the humidity's dropped off. Hang on to your hats, though. Oh, yeah. Well, this crowd is excited to keep fighting the level. The parade starts in just a few 